The real-time real estate segment today being brought to you by rsrmoney.com, rsrmoney.com. Love that web app. Track your, your credit scores, track your bank accounts, asset accounts. 97% of all more, uh, real estate properties across the country are right there. 97% are right there on the app. And, oh, yes, you get to track the value of your existing real estate as well. Four different sources of the value are right there on the app. Why home prices keep going up? If you've ever dreamed of buying your own place or selling your current house to upgrade, you're no stranger to the roller coaster of emotions changing home prices can stir up. It's a tale of financial goals, doubts, and a dash of anxiety that many have been through. But if you're putting off moving because you're worried home prices might drop, make no mistake, they're not going down, my opinion. In fact, it's just the opposite. National data from several sources say they've been going up consistently. If you're watching us on ABC News and Talk AM 1490 video feed or FM 98.1, you're also seeing a chart. Percentage change in home values. We've got the data from Zillow, Black Knight, and Freddie Mac. Last year, if you look at the beginning of last year, real estate values were going up dramatically. Well, what happens when something goes up dramatically? It slows down. Hmm. That was the last half of last year. Now we're seeing prices going up this year a little bit more in line with what they've been doing in the past. First half, 2022, home prices rose significantly. That's the beginning. If you're watching us, green bars on the left side of the graph. Those increases were dramatic and unsustainable. So in the second half of the year, prices went through a correction, started dropping a bit. That's the red lines in the graph. But those slight declines were shallow and short-lived. Still, the media really focused on those drops in their headlines. And that created a lot of fear and uncertainty among consumers. But here's what hasn't been covered fully. So far in 2023, prices are going up once again, but this time at a more normal pace. And after price gains that were too high and then the corrections that followed in 2022, the fact that all three reports show more normal or typical price appreciation this year is good news for the housing market. See, the senior economist at Zillow, and I can't pronounce the name, explains changing home prices over the past 12 months this way, quote, the U.S. housing market has surged over the past year after temporary hiccup from July of 2022 to January 2023. That downturn has proven to be short-lived as housing has rebounded impressively so far in 2023, unquote. Looking ahead, home price appreciation typically starts to ease up this time of year. As that happens, there's some risk the media will confuse slowing price growth, deceleration of appreciation, with home prices falling which is depreciation. Don't be fooled. Slower price growth is still growth. Why are home prices increasing now? One reason why home prices are going back up is because there still aren't enough homes for sale for all the people who want a roof over their head. Coleman is not what they want. Even though higher mortgage rates cause buyer demand to moderate, they also cause the supply of available homes to go down. That's because a mortgage rate lock in effect. When rates rise, some homeowners are reluctant to sell and lose their current low mortgage rates just to take on a higher one for their next home. So with higher mortgage rates impacting both buyers and sellers, the supply and demand equation of housing market has been affected. But since there are still more people who want to purchase homes than there are homes available to buy, prices continue to rise. As Freddie Mac states, quote, while rising interest rates have reduced affordability and therefore demand, they have also reduced supply through the mortgage rate lock-in effect. Overall, it appears the reduction in supply has outweighed the decrease in demand. Thus, house prices have started to increase, unquote. Here's how this imp impacts you. Buyers, if you've been waiting to buy a home because you're afraid its value might drop, knowing that home prices have gone back up should make you feel better. Buying ho a home gives you a chance to own something that usually becomes more valuable over time. Sellers, if you've been holding off on selling your house because you are worried about how changing home prices would impact its value, it could be a smart move to work with a real estate agent and put your house on the market. You don't have to wait any longer because most recent data indicates home prices have turned in your favor. Bottom line, if you put off moving because you're worried that home prices might go down, data shows they're increasing across the country. Give me a call, 
1990. If you're thinking about selling or buying a new house and you're worried, am I going to find something new? And what am I going to do if I don't, if I sell my house? It's called a transition loan at Geneva Financial. They've got it. You can get the cash out of your existing property before you sell it, buy your new property, then sell your departing property. Give me a call. I'll explain it to you. That is the real-time real estate segment brought to you by rsrmoney.com.